Congrats, yo. Woo! Everybody wanna do the same thing, yo. That's why we ain't on the same page, yo. Do my own thing, and I maintain. Woo! Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Flow like water. Hi, guys. It's your girl, Silver Daisies, and I'm back with another video. And this time, I am actually, I'm not like happy-go-lucky and whatever, because I'm actually going to talk about like something like really serious because I have seen like this trend where people are using this product and I just want to say with my own experience like what happened to my skin when I used this product okay so what I'm going oh my hair looks crazy on the side here yeah. okay so what I'm going to be talking about as you probably figured out from the title is the the dangers of black soap now I know a lot of YouTubers with brown skin, okay, whether black or brown, um, they have been really recommending black soap to like the melanated community, right? And also that's not a bad thing because when, once something works for you, it's good to like share it with others like how I do with you guys with my reviews. However, black soap is not for everyone and I will tell you why. I decided to try it out. First of all, it's quite expensive. I remember when I used black soap, it was costing me towards like 150 and I only bought it once. I never bought it again because I had such a bad experience with it. And what happened was like, I think it was like 16, I think it was like 16 or 17 when I was using it. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna um, try to use black soap because YouTubers are saying that it works. So I went out and I bought my black soap and it was like literally, okay, first things first, obviously, if you do, however, um, convince yourself that you do want to try out black soap, it should be not actually black, it should be a brown that is just dark and it's called black soap, okay? So I used, um... A black soap that was very um I would say like I could like see from it like oh okay uh, is black soap supposed to be like this because it did have a very strong like it had a very pleasant smell and it like it it seemed like it was fragranced and my immediate response was should it be fragranced though isn't it supposed to be like all natural but I used it and it was from a very very rely reliable brand okay it's not like i just picked something off the shelf and i was like okay black soap you're the cheapest one no i actually went to those shops and it was a very trustworthy brand a very you know one of those brands that you like it's the beyonce of brands so you're like okay i'm going to trust it i'm going to trust it so yeah i went into the shops i bought the black soap and then i tried it out and from day two or from day three yo, my skin was in hell Ooh, no first problem was that my skin was becoming flaky like there were parts of me like though that were just drying up and becoming flaky like and just becoming not pleasant to the skin and then like over my forehead as well it would be just like so like so dry and i couldn't do this with my forehead because if i creased my forehead it was painful because it was too dry and then there's certain parts of me whereby i couldn't i couldn't touch because my face was so sensitive i was just feeling like i cannot with my face anymore my face is oh it's just being horrible towards me it was so sensitive and i remember the one time right I was using um deodorant like spray deodorant right and then as i was spraying myself accidentally it went onto my face right because i'm like you know like it's a spray it went onto my face and i just remember my face burning and it, like obviously in our lifetimes we've all had that incident where you like you spray wrong and then you spray wrong your face but then you just wipe it off because it's not too serious but when i was using black soap when that accident happened felt like my face was melting off 
I, I had to literally go into the bathroom and literally wipe it off, like rinse it off with water because it felt as if I had applied lava to my face. It was that bad, guys. Like my face was just not having it. And on top of that, it was not helping me with any breakouts, with any acne or anything that I was having. It was, it was just making my skin worse, honestly. Like I remember... I had a lot of um, breakouts over my cheeks, right? And they would like really show and I was really like insecure about that. And so I was really working it into my cheeks and <laughs> it did not work at all. It did not work at all. That's why I say black, black soap is very good, right? But it's not for everyone. It is not for everyone. Do your research, or if it, if not, right? Because I did the mistake of I didn't patch test it, so I didn't try it out in a little bit on my skin or like on the inside of my wrist or anything. I just immediately went to using it on my face, and it was just. <sighs> if you know you have sensitive skin, I highly recommend that you do not go that route into black soap. Yes, there might have been people who have sensitive skin and it worked for you. But honestly, I have really sensitive skin and I can say that it did not work for me. In fact, it just made my skin worse. And the thing is that even when I moisturized my face, right, it wouldn't get moisturized. Like, it was at that point where my skin was so dry, moist, like, moist, like, moisturizing did not do anything to it and so like i was just stuck in this thing where i was like okay i spent so much money on this product and yet i'm not going to use it okay so i told myself okay let me instead of washing my face twice a day like i usually do let me wash it only once because maybe i'm over washing my face maybe that's what i'm doing and i should actually be only washing my hair like once a day nothing changed i literally started washing after like um the fourth or fifth day right i had had enough so i was like okay let me wash my face let me wash my face only um once a once a day and i thought it would work because i did there was a period where i like I only washed with water for like two days I think because I was like okay let me give my skin a rest and then I can get back into it right so there was two days where I just washed my face with water and then um, after that I started washing my face only once a day and still <sighs> it didn't work did not work it's still like it was still sensitive it was still making my skin very sensitive like i couldn't even touch my face in certain ways like i couldn't be rough with it like be like oh just like that whenever i wanted to because then my face would hurt and i'd be like oh my face and like even when i was sleeping like my pillowcase would be like it would feel like it's very abrasive towards my face but the previous week like it was fine towards me it just feels I just felt like a layer of my skin had been ripped off and I, and I was just exposed to everything around me. And so I quit back black soap. I was like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if I spent like 140, 150 on this bar soap because it does comes as a bar soap, right? I was like, I don't care. I really don't care at this point because I, I, I'm not having peace of mind right now because my skin is sensitive. It's not doing anything for me. Just just let the money go. Honestly, just let the money go. So then after that, I started only washing with water. I washed with water for quite a long time until I felt like my skin had regained that balance, that skin that had been like shed off of me, right? I washed my, I washed my face with water. I was like, ah, I really like not feeling it right now. And then I didn't want to quickly go into some products that were very harsh with me. So what I bought, I bought like the sunlight bar, right? So what I'll do with that, I'd like 
um, put water on my hands so I can make sure like um, I work the soap into a lather and then I put it onto my face so that ooh, 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 just hurt myself so that I wouldn't be putting the soap directly on my face and I did that for I think another month and only then like did I feel like okay my skin is back to normal I can go back into using other products for my skin because literally when I was using black soap I tried using a scrub which was so painful which was so painful guys it was literally like taking a grater and just doing this on your face literally every day of my life was hell because of black soap I know the reviews online are beautiful it works for people it gets rid of the acne some of them even say that it gets rid of the acne forever but black soap is not for everyone so when you do go out and buy black soap make sure you first just get a sample and test it like patch tested first because my honest experience from what people have been saying online about it is very different to me and i had this crazy idea that, uh, a few weeks back and i was like maybe i just used the wrong black soap and i just need to like maybe buy a different band brand sorry but um like uh, black soap is really like it's it's it, like it's not worth going through that hell again where my skin was just so I like I would literally shed tears because of how sensitive my skin was it was red it was patchy it was dry I couldn't moisturize it even if I put like five layers of moisturizer there was still dark patches especially going down here so yeah my advice to you is before you follow this trend of oh black soap works okay do your research find out your skin type if you have a very skin sensitive skin type like i'm really not recommending it to you but it might work maybe you know somebody who has sensitive skin and it worked for them because as you know we don't all have the same skin like you me and you like might have the same oily skin and whatever but when it comes down to it we don't have the exact same skin so that was my um tips or tip for black soap because it does not work for everyone and i just wanted to caution you and advise you against it if it has worked for you tell me like how was your journey with it what type of skin you have or if you want to try it out and um you're wondering what type of um black soap that i use just hit me up and just comment down below in the comment section but before you go off make sure that you like subscribe and share to your friends your family anyone and i will see you in the next video guys bye